barrel. I was thinking we should get started soon. Hard to believe it's been ten years since your daughter and son-in-law were lost here. What were they thinking? Leaving their daughter behind and going to such a dangerous place. Are you sure you won't change your mind? Are you still determined to go back there? It's too late to turn back now. I've spent my entire life working toward this. I can't turn back. Mr. Werner von Blucher. Mr. Werner von Blucher. That time already. Well, then I'll go on ahead, all right? Mr. Werner von Blucher. Mr. Werner von Blucher. Please report to I guess Roll decided not to come then. Oh, yes. She's a little upset at the thought of someone finding the mother load before she does. After all, she's been looking for it all her life. I've always been fond of Roll, you know that. But all's fair in love and war. <sighs> Nothing to report, sir. Keep your eyes wide open. If any pirates show up, I want them taken care of immediately. Yes, sir. No one has journeyed to Forbidden Island and returned to tell the tale, but today two men who have devoted their lives to studying that infamous island... Would you have to call so many reporters? Can't have all the fun myself, can I? The more the merrier, wouldn't you agree? You never change, do you? Just try not to make a fool of yourself or me. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen of the press, thank you for your patience. I would like to present to you a brief description of our planned expedition. Now tell me, just what do you think you're doing here? I thought you had gotten out of the pirate game, hmm? Stop it, Clyde. Mind your own business. We've got enough problems as it is. What, did your little department store go under already? Ah, no, it hasn't gone under. We're just a little in the red this month, that's all. Just need a little extra cash to make ends meet. If you didn't buy only what you like, maybe we wouldn't be in this fix. Shut your traps. I'm trying to listen to what he's saying. What did you say, you big tin can? Who do you think you are? I... No squabbling till the job's finished, remember, Teasel? Teasel. As I'm sure all of you are aware... No one has succeeded in landing on the island beyond this tumultuous cloud and lived to tell the tale. No one, that is, except Professor Barrow and myself. Thirty years ago, Professor Barrow and I journeyed to that island and returned. Over the years, we've been asked many times what we saw there. We have kept that knowledge to ourselves. But now I intend to give to you the opportunity to see it for yourselves. I made the eggs just the way you like them. Hey, look, it's Gramps. Huh? Don't worry, Roll. The mother load can't be found that easily. Professor Beryl and myself are confident that the mother load 
which has been sought after by all mankind for numerous generations, does lie buried somewhere on this island. <clears throat> this ends my presentation. Thank you. And now, are there any questions? Excuse me, Mr. Blucher? Yes? Has your research given you any clue as to what exactly the mother load might be? That's a good question. Personally, I believe it to be something of tremendous importance to mankind. Something that will help us better ourselves and the world. Perhaps a new energy source, more powerful than our current refractors. And you, Professor? Tell me, what do you think? Hmm. Well, I think... Matilda! You, you're alive! Has it occurred to you that this great lost treasure might not be what you think it is? Keep your eyes on her. What happens to you is no concern of mine. Still, I'll give you this warning. What you call the mother load is not what you think it might be. No, it's not a treasure at all. It's a catastrophe waiting to happen. But it was worth it. 
I'll take over. Ugh, thanks! Data, it's almost lunchtime. Can you get everything ready? Okay, okay, okay. Mega Man, thank you. Huh? Well, I was a little down before, and... Uh-huh. I was thinking, what would I do if they find the mother load? I guess I got a little scared. Scared? Why? I've been searching for the mother load because I thought if I found it, I'd be able to see my parents again. I guess I was just fooling myself. I've got to accept reality. Face the facts. They are gone. Both of them are gone. Oh, but still, when you said we should go see for ourselves, I remembered something my mother told me a long time ago. She said a digger should never give up hope. Right! My mom and my dad and the mother load. I won't. I won't give up on them yet. That's the spirit. We'll find him, Rule. <laughs> Anyway, Mega Man, what should we do once we catch up with Grab Ship? She does look a lot like my mother, but I can't believe my own mother would do something like that. I wonder who she is. I'm really sorry, Mega Man. I needed to upgrade the flutter. I'm afraid I sold all your equipment. Please forgive me. Okay, we can figure out what to do once we get there, right? Roll, do you smell something burning? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Data! Data! I'll go see what's wrong! Wait, Mega Man, take this with you! What? what? What is it? It's a fire extinguisher, I'll tell you more later. Okay, back me up!
This is your live update. Although the Sulphur Bottoms Hall was damaged in the attack by a mysterious woman, the damage has been repaired. We expect it to enter the maelstrom surrounding Forbidden Island any time. Preparations are complete. The crew ready. The Sulphur Bottom is gathering speed and preparing to penetrate the cloud of mystery surrounding Forbidden Island. Following the attack hours ago, we were all asked to disembark and return to our ships, where we stand watching Von Blucher embark on his greatest adventure and what may be humanity's greatest adventure. Will he succeed in reaching Forbidden Island? We'll continue with live updates throughout the day. Final check complete. We can get underway whenever you're ready, sir. Understood. Well then, everyone, are you ready? We won't let anything get in the way of a story. We're not like those wimpy TV reporters. You're really going to go through with this? Yes, I am. I have to. Well, if you're going to do it, then do it. I mean, we've come this far, right? Thank you, Baron. All right then, let's go. Main engines online. Main engines online. Set course for the center of the island. Engage. Looks like they're intent on ignoring my warning. Weapons activated. Remember, I don't want them hurt. Understood. Stabilizers on this ship are amazing. You can hardly feel the wind. I'm impressed. Huh? Unidentified object approaching from above at high speed. Sir, sir. Activate the pitch screen. No one will stop me. Not now. I got an idea about this. Vaughn. Order the drakes to go to yellow alert and stand by. Closer. Fire now. Fire repressor activated. Engines offline. She's out of control. Emergency escape pod launch mechanism damaged. What? Now you've really done it. Apologies, Miss Rasuna. We should retreat. They probably won't crash for a while, at least. I'd hope to stop them before they got this far. Roll! The Silver Bomb is being sucked into that storm! <gasps> What should we do? We can't take the flutter in there. And we're almost out of fuel. We'll have to set down on a nearby island. We can figure out what to do then.
see Grant's ship yet? According to my readings, it should be somewhere close by. Mega Man, what did you do? I'm picking up a massive energy surge. I think it might be a giant reaper bot. Get out of there, Mega Man. Mega Man. Mega Man.
The storm, it stopped. Finally stopped. Oh, I thought we were goners for sure. You're getting old, Beryl. That was nothing. Look at me. I'm fine. Hmm. Show off. For all that money you spent on it, you'd think this flying wash tub of yours would have held up better. <clears throat> well, accidents happen. If we were ready for them, we wouldn't call them accidents, would we? How come those old fogies are so chipper, huh? My stomach it feels like it's been through a washing machine spin cycle. Ah, uh, look! Done it. They woke her up. The carbons have decided their own fate. This is because they've activated Mistress Sarah. You've done enough for them, Mistress Yuna. You are required to relinquish the keys to her. No, it's not enough. Why did the Master entrust that purifier unit with his genetic code? It was his job to hunt down and eliminate all aberrant units. So why did he become the greatest aberrant of all? There are still too many unanswered questions. Mistress Yuna, surely you have enough information to arrive at a conclusion. Think, Gats. What if the carbons, which the Master loves so dearly, were more important than the Master's system? What then? What? The chances of such a possibility being true are non-existent. Are they? How can you be so sure? Uh-oh, we better get out of here. Agreed. Hmm, it appears that Miss Yuna still does not intend to give you access to the keys, Mistress Sarah. What is she thinking? Her logic is as mysterious as was the Master's. You know what you have to do. Yes, the directive of this unit is ensuring your safety. Very well. Hmm, one of the carbon ships. We must first recover the keys to the library. We can acquire and deal with the master's genetic code sample afterward. Understood.